Disney's recent release, Raya and the Last Dragon, caught our attention for a few reasons. One, who doesn't love dragons? And two, there's a gemstone at the center of the plot. So, of course, we're gonna talk about it. Come with me as we try and figure out just what this magical ancient orb really is. In the story, the land of Kumandra was a peaceful place with all the citizens and dragons living together in harmony. Then came the Droon, a black nothingness that wiped out everything it touched, turning most into stone. To help save humanity, a group of dragons combined their magic to form an orb that could banish the Droon. It worked, but the remaining dragons are turned to stone. Except for Sisu, the last dragon. Oh, I get it. Okay. The orb, known as the Dragon Gem, also survived. After a long time, the people of Kumandra were split into five different factions, and the orb also split into five different pieces, which were distributed amongst the five leaders. Making a very long story short, Raya, the keeper of the orb piece in Kumandra, sets out to recover le let's call it what it is, it's stealing, the other pieces of the orb to defeat the Droon that was awakened during the splitting of the orb. Raya finally manages to summon Sisu, the last dragon, who admits that she did not create the orb but only used it on behalf of her siblings. She also reveals that she can gain her siblings' powers when she touches the orb pieces. So, let's talk powers and how they might relate to possible real-life gems. The first piece, Raya's piece, gives Sisu the power to phosphoresce and light up the dark. Even though it doesn't technically phosphoresce, but rather fluoresces, to me, this piece screams fluorite. Not only is some fluorite a bluish purple color, the same color as Sisu, by the way, but it can fluoresce an even more brilliant blue to purplish or even green under long wave ultraviolet light. Plus, fluorite has perfect cleavage, which explains how easily the orb broke as it fell to the ground. They recover the second piece from a booby-trapped tail temple, granting Sisu shape-shifting powers, meaning she can turn into a human. Now, as far as I know, there are zero gemstones that give people the power to shapeshift, but there is such a thing as dimorphism. What's that, you ask? I'm so glad you did. Dimorphism literally means two forms. Basically, it means a material can have the same chemical composition, but have two different forms in the same crystal system. So here are two gems in the group of dimorphs that I think are the best fit for the movie. Cave in Sight and Pentagonite. Both Cavensite and Pentagonite are bright, bright blue and crystallize in the orthorhombic crystal system. However, Cavensite crystallizes as an orthorhombic dipyramidal class and Pentagonite crystallizes as an orthorhombic pyramidal class. They look very much alike, but on deeper inspection, the difference is seen in their crystallography. So it stands to reason that once Sisu held the second orb, it allowed her to morph into a human. Same animal, two different forms. That sounds plausible, right? Can I have that one? I'll allow it. Next, the group claims the third gem, allowing Sisu to spew out fog which they use to escape. Do you know any gems that emit fog? I don't either, so the closest thing I can think of is fluorine gas. Fluorine has two solid forms, alpha and beta. The second, beta, crystallizes at negative 364 degrees Fahrenheit and is transparent and soft. It has the same disordered cubic structure of a freshly crystallized solid. Cooling it further to negative 378 degrees Fahrenheit induces a phase transition into one, opaque, and two, hard alpha fluorine, which has a monoclinic structure with dense angled layers of molecules. The transition from beta to alpha fluorine is exothermic and can be very violent. An exothermic reaction releases energy from a system into its surroundings, usually in the form of heat, but also in the form of light, for example, a spark, flame, or a flash. Not necessarily fog, but it's a visible and audible explosion. Fortunately, no one was harmed. The final power Sisu gains is the ability to control rain. Aquamarine certainly fits thematically, but I'm thinking of a certain porous gem with the ability to take on water. Hydrophane Opal. The play of color can closely resemble Sisu the dragon's coloring, depending on how the silica spheres are arranged, of course. Opal's structure of silica spheres form a fantastic variety of patterns and colors, and even bright blue. Of course, no two opals are exactly alike, but they are all fascinating. I simply can't resolve what the orb is overall. My best guess is that it was several different gems contained in one orb, like a composite gem, maybe? I mean, they all had different properties that came from different dragons, so it's fine if they're all different gems, right? I mean, I know it's fiction, but it's fun to speculate, and hopefully you learned a little something along the way. That's all we've got for today, guys. Tell me, what powers would you want to have if you were a magical dragon? And what would your gem be? Let me know down in the comments, and of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching.